Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. John and Ellie of Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another product review. And what I'm looking at is Richard's Wild Irish Rose Moscato. This product is 17% alcohol by volume. It is a Constellation Brands product. Vented in New York. I believe it was originally introduced in 1954. Um, we did an examination on Ron Ontario's channel, Louisiana Beer Reviews. Go check that out if you haven't already uh, for some more information on this fine product. All right, so technically this is a dessert wine. It is 17%. does not qualify as a table wine. Anything for, over 14% um, is considered a dessert wine. And the color here is very... Uh, It's yellow straw color, very clear. Got some nice alcohol legs going down the glass there. Sorry about the glare, guys. You can't really see that with the glare. Uh, but anyway, looks good. The aroma... Very sweet. Definitely get the grapes. It's very grape forward. It smells like it's going to be very sweet. Um, not really smelling too much of the alcohol. Maybe a little bit of the alcohol. And I said this during the examination that we did, uh, and I'm going to say it again. It almost has like a little bit of a grape aroma like you get with really cheap malt liquor, like the Earthquake 10% high gravity, for example, um, which is strange for a malt liquor, but for a grape wine, I mean... But that's, it's like a musty grape thing. It doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty good. Um, so that's pretty much it with the aroma, though. So let's go ahead and get into it. Cheers, guys. Not bad. Uh, this product gets, uh, you know, it's, it's basically, it gets slammed by just about everybody out there. But um, it's not bad at all. You know, it's got that very sweet grape flavor that you get with um, port wine. It's almost got like a wood note on it. Like it's aged in wooden barrels or something. Um, it's got a nutty thing as well that you get with port wine. Um like the Taylor line, their port wine, their uh, or their Ruby port, their Tawny port, especially the Tawny port. The Tawny point had Tawny port had a really significant um, nutty note to it. This one has a very similar type thing going on. It has a, a nuttiness to the flavor. It's very enjoyable. Um, it's definitely got that sweet that sweet uh, grape flavor. Um, It's not really heavy. I mean, it's you obviously don't want to drink too much of this because it's so strong. I mean, 17% is nothing to mess around with. Uh, it is smooth. It's really not alcoholic at all. It goes down nice and easy. It's very sweet, great, obviously, as a dessert um, after your meal. This would be good after a nice steak, you know. Um it's good. I mean, it's not blowing my socks off, but it's really shocking how good this product is considering the, you know, terrible reputation that it has. Uh, it's really not bad. It's at least in the B range for me. Uh, I don't give specific numerical ratings with wine or liquor, but it's in the B range, uh, and especially for the price point, five bucks for a 750 ml bottle. It's, uh, 
it's good. It's very sweet, though. You obviously wouldn't want to drink too much. You get a nasty hangover, especially considering that it's 17% alcohol. But the grape flavor is really nice. It has a nice nuttiness uh, that you get with the Taylor uh, dessert wine lineup. Uh, very similar to that. If you've ever had the, t uh, the Taylor dessert wines, that's exactly what uh, it has going on as far as the nutty qualities that it has. Um, and it's very sweet and smooth and uh, delicious. So I'm going to give it a B. I would definitely recommend checking it out, despite what uh, other people may, might say. I think if you like the Taylor dessert wine lineup, I think you'll like this. I really do. It's not much different. This one's obviously a lot lighter than the port, the tawny port, the cream sherry, uh, but it has a very similar taste profile, in my opinion, and um, it's dirt cheap, so try it. And if you don't like it, you're really not, um, not going to be too upset, I don't think, because you're not going to be out a lot of money. But uh, I definitely think it's worth the price. I think it's uh, got a lot of good qualities to it. There's nothing off about it other than maybe uh, the aroma uh, is a little strange, but the taste is much better um, than the aroma. It tastes like a, a solid dessert wine, and I would recommend it. So that'll do it for this product review, guys. I hope you're all having a great day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.